finally tonight, Joan Baez has been an important voice in American folk music and politics since the 1960s. Jeffrey Brown visited Baez at her Northern California home recently as she wraps up her career with a farewell tour. It's part of our Arts and Culture series, Canvas, and our look at American creators. My brothers and sisters went working the fruit tree. On her current tour, Joan Baez sings Deportees, a song about migrant workers she's been performing for decades. Goodbye to my one, goodbye Rosalita. A familiar theme with new relevance, and a familiar voice, even as it's changed, from her famous soprano with its three octave range. It's part of the reason, she told me, this will be her last tour. Deportees. My first vocal coach, very smart man, I was in my 30s. I said, when will I know it's time to quit singing? He said, your voice will tell you. And it has. Baez has been making music in public since the late 1950s, renowned for reworkings of traditional ballads as folk music rose to popularity. Her first album came out in 1960. From early on, political activism mixed with the music. She sang at the 1963 March on Washington. Against the Vietnam War. And on behalf of many other causes over the years. But this is the last. This is the last. But when we met recently at her Northern California home as she prepared to go back out on tour, the 78-year-old had more down-to-earth concerns. <laughs> I'm not as young as I was yesterday. Right. <laughs> Are you feeling it as you prepare to go? Feeling my age? Yes. Yeah, Always. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Stuff hurts. You know, you're laughing. <laughs> But you're still going to get out there on the bus. Huh? I'm going to get on that bus and hope it doesn't completely break my whole system. One could say Last year, Baez released an album titled Whistle Down the Wind, 10 songs by writers she admires. So on that day and in that place, the president sang Amazing Grace. It was her first recording in almost 10 years, and she says, also her last. Conceptually, it was like an echo to the first album. Josh Ritter wrote a folk song. Yeah. Folk song, folk song, Silver Blade, and the first album had Silver Dagger. And in her right hand, a silver dagger. The earlier song was a traditional folk ballad of a wronged woman. The, silver blade and where the new one, captured on this music video, has a new twist. I laid it very deep beneath his wrists. In the first song, Silver Dagger, the young maiden, her mother's threatening her, don't get married, uh, the guys are all like your father, and she caves, you know? Yeah. And then the new one, not at all. She rides off with the guy she falls in love with, he turns out to be a, you know, a rotten guy, and he rapes her in his castle. Mm -hmm. And instead of her crawling away, you know, to never again have anything to do with a man, she stabs him in the back with a silver blade. Right. Which, ladies, doesn't mean you have to assassinate the guy. You just don't have to let him treat you like that anymore. Hello, hello, cried Henry Martin. Maya says she's not a nostalgic person, but she has been going back to listen to her younger self. Yeah, I've been listening to that voice, and it's hard to connect it with myself now. And it, You've been listening to it just... Just to listen to it, because it's brilliant, and it's one of a kind, and I can say that because my job is maintenance delivery, and the rest of it really is a gift. And when you look back at that person who had that voice? Ballsy. Ballsy, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Ambitious? No, no, not ambitious, really. Not for myself. Probably very ambitious about the politics, mm -hmm. trying to get something done and mm -hmm. reading everything and being on top of it in and, and that sense, yeah. you know. Do you feel like the moment shaped you, or were you and others kind of shaping it? Well, that was a special period of time yeah. during which 
this enormous amount of talent just exploded. And one of the problems now is that people look back and they want that now, and you can't have it. I mean, you can't have a repeat. Something new has to emerge. But yes, it formed me, and happy to say, yes, I helped form it. These days, Baez stays active in political causes, but warns people against romanticizing the 60s. She calls herself a realist. We are facing a massive defeat, if not the administration and its global warming. I don't know whether my grandchild is going to have a life, not let alone a good life. Mm -hmm. And my remedy for that is be in denial 80% of the time. Be in denial? Mm -hmm. That's how you feel? Yes, mm -hmm. to just put one foot in front of the other. Then you take the 20% and you do your daily life and part of that has to be what are you going to do for everybody else? What are you going to do for the human race? Mm -hmm. Um, and for that, everybody has to choose, but they have to choose. She looks to young people to speak up and take action. I'm not the standard bearer. I'm not the out in the front of the line. The kids are doing that. Mm -hmm. They really are. I don't want to support them any way that I can. Because mm -hmm. I think the kids are probably the only ones who really get it about climate change. I really do. They look in their future and they say, do we have one? Baez has a new creative outlet now. He's about two-thirds done. Painting. Portraits that once again mix politics with art. She calls her subjects, people like Nelson Mandela and Gloria Steinem, mischief makers. This is the only kind of I know what I'm going to do and retire kind of thing. Yeah. It's probably not going to be fixing my roses, although that be part of it. Can you just use that R word, to retire? Is that what you're doing? No, I've never used it before. It's sort of like saying 80. When I realized I'm going to be 80 in two years, I was mortified. And I walked around the house saying 80, 80. I'm going to be 80 <laughs> until it lost its horror. Goodbye to my one. Joan Baez is now performing in Europe on the final leg of her final tour. For the PBS NewsHour, I'm Jeffrey Brown in Northern California. You ride the big airplane, and all they will call you will be deportees, and all they will call you will be What a voice still, Joan Baez.